What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Dark Gathering, this time of episode 7. Last time out we had um, a slightly wholesome and kind of weird episode with uh, Aiko. I uh, saw that she actually set up, um, or wanted to set up at least I, I think, a few of the events. Um, obviously go, go into university and uh, studying these ghosts and spirits and such. So um, yeah, got to see her very happy about that very happy in the direction things are going so uh i i honestly find it quite wholesome but i could definitely see how people could see that it's quite weird as well uh she ended up not getting possessed but kind of controlled by a bunch of spirits last episode taken down very easily by yayoi yeah, um but no idea what's going to be happening today looking forward to it very much though let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these uh weekly reactions now let's get right into the episode I think I tried to combine weekly with reactions there. W w reactions. Yeah, here's the uh, the end of last episode. And I just came out and said I love you to each other. <laughs> sure has let's get my head down To the dark side we go. Yeah, makes sense. That would be the outcome. Potentially, but we didn't feel anything, did we? Well, we've got a name for that thing. I've always been quite... at a loss for what to call this. The Spectre of Death. Don't know why, but right now it kind of feels like I wouldn't say everything before this is a, is it a pre uh, prologue. I can't remember epilogue. I don't think it's epilogue. Is it? Kind of seems like that's all to the point of K Katero actually kind of joining the dark side. If you know what I mean, like this. This is really where the kind of premise lies, and we get going. If that makes sense. Not sure if anyone else feels that way, but.
So do we have any idea of where Spectre of Death is? Like what do you call like if we didn't know that was the same, what do you call that thing? Again, I've always struggled with that. <laughs> like an entity. I'd call it the entity. Still no idea who that girl is. It's like divination. Is divination the right word? I, I don't know. I remember there's something like that crystal. I think it was in one of the Ouija movies. The first one, which was absolutely crap. The second Ouija movie, The or Origin of Evil, was actually pretty good. I actually quite like that. Unrelated. Um... Yeah, we're doing this every episode. <laughs> they should really get some like stickers or something, like some Ghostbusters, uh, Scooby Doo type logos or st and stuff on the side of the car. Honestly, I feel like that would be quite fitting and fun. I feel you, man. <laughs> Bestie. Oh, God. That should be quite reassuring to hear, right? And then it's kind of confirmed what you guys are. I think it'd be more scary kind of not knowing. Oh, I actually recorded that. <laughs> of course you did. Everything that's led up to this point with Aiko, this is well within, well within her to do. Again, probably should have, probably should have predicted how to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna cringe myself. That is definitely not what the Japanese said there. It definitely mentioned embarrassment. But um, I don't mind that subtitle change.
PS. Oh, I do remember the preview was actually quite a um, yeah, it was actually quite a lit up urban place. There's a lot of fucking spirits here. Wow. So, is what we mentioned in the intro gonna be relevant here then? With all these bloody spirits? Maybe it's just one. And people are mistaking it for loads of different ones. So probably a bit of darkness right there. Oh, that was probably just the other side. <laughs> Yep. It was weird how that was the same glove though. You obviously saw the kind of, yeah, the aura stuff. <laughs> Just wants to hold a hand. I don't know why I'm getting I'm getting some uh, John G. Ito vibes. I've never actually read any of the work, but from the anime that aired a couple seasons ago, which had some good episodes. Overall, was a bit of a letdown. Did have some good episodes. I'm still wondering when the hell Uzumaki's coming out. I've been hearing about that for ages. It's a small little bridge, isn't it? Oh, there she is. When she start crawling toward, yeah, <laughs> they did say, once you look back, you won't see her. So that one almost reminds a little bit of um, Creep Show 2. There's a homeless man that they run over, and woman runs over, um, and he just keeps coming back. He's just on, yeah, he's just on the windscreen like that and stuff. Oh god, that is pretty horrific, isn't it? <laughs> Those gasps, and just nothing from Yayoi. But yeah, he's he just he gets ran over and ran over again, and just keeps coming back on top of the car, looking more brutalized each time, and that really horrified me as a kid. <laughs> I 
and it hurts. Yeah, it did, which is strange. You're going to have to get used to this eventually, Katero. <laughs> Just sitting right next to you. So there is more than one, okay. This one's from fucking The Ring. <laughs> What's her name? Samantha something? No, not even. I can't remember. And it almost feels like they're, 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 a lot of them are quite inspired. Don't know if that's just me or not. Specifically, this episode. Although we had some of the ring stuff with that with that one that you watched the DVD of as well. Oh God! I can shower with the man. Very very sneaky this one, isn't it? Oh, there's the hair. Very sneaky this one. <laughs> Is this old guy? <laughs> Ah, I see. That's who we captured. Fair play. What do we do with this guy then? <laughs> and just sitting there calmly. Where's my grandchildren? <laughs> Lovely introduction right there. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, he's there, but she just she can't be seen. Sorry, guys, just gonna pause for a second because my laptop's making quite a lot of noise. No, no, we are recording fine. Strange. My laptop only usually makes this much noise when something like downloading or I'm uploading something or something along those lines, which would usually cause like a lag, so I want to be safe. Apologies there. Go back to uh, 17 minutes. Almost finished this episode, by the way. Oh. Usually things are kind of dealt with by now. At 12 p.m. Or a.m., should I say? Oh, Jamashi Mans. Oh fuck, wow. <laughs> Just, uh... 
Just dying there, okay. So that's what we're doing here. <laughs> Imagine that. You, you literally... I'd, I'd say that like 99% of people would just be terrified of that face. Yeah, yeah, he's literally just walking up to it, no qualms whatsoever. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't say I let you go, you little bastard. Oh, and we just killed it straight up. No. Yeah, of course. Why would we kill any of them? We need a we need a large collection. We need a powerful a powerful fucking spirit to take down Mr. Spectre. Nice job though, yeah yeah, very nice job again. Doing what many, many people can't, like I said, that that you find many people that would walk up to that face. The natural instinct is to piss off their forehead. Right, Aiko didn't go in his room. I like the fact that he did capture a spirit, even though it was just some random old man. I like, I like the fact he got around to actually doing one himself. And his is the bait. <laughs> He is the bait. He is the equivalent of the the yeah the black person in a horror movie, the first one to. I'm really do you know what horror movie I'm really looking forward to the blackening. I've heard really good things about that, and that's based on that premise. Like, if they're all black people, who dies first? <laughs> all of them, or do they change the rules? <laughs> Again, it's so it just makes you feel almost bad for the spirits, man. Oh, is that going to be the girl that we see? Yeah, it is. Oh, she's got interesting eyes. Same, uh, same type as Yay. Well, not the same type, but same kind of standoutish nature as Yayo is. Interesting. As I said, the 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 monster here is the one on the right. It's quite funny as well because she captures them in these cute dolls. Compared to her, they are cute dolls, aren't they? They are these little fun little dolls and play things. But they're not play things to her, but in comparison, if you know what I'm saying, they really are just like ants compared to an elephant. Looking forward to seeing this new character, though. I wonder what her deal was going to be. She had any prior involvement with these spirits?
Oh. What did that say? What did the stars in her eyes mean for real? Or tell? Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I mean, good point, good question. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm asking. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, good episode again today. Uh, like I said, I, I do feel like they will kind of ramp things up with the uh, with the nature of the spirits and such eventually they're going wrong they're all still pretty horrific but they haven't actually got as scary as some of the early ones in my opinion um i still feel like some of the earlier episodes had some of the scariest the most tension filled uh parts although um I, I think there was some of that a couple of episodes ago but hoping to again hopefully they can kind of ramp things up in that nature i still I'm still absolutely loving the show i still think it's super fun but um I, again i don't think it's quite as scary as it was earlier on Especially today, uh, there was quite a few horrific shots today, but nothing, uh, again, almost seemed quite inspired. I've seen quite a few similar type things, like I said, but the, the long hair and um, and uh, the kind of messed up <laughs> messed up face. Uh, that was a pretty horrific face, but nothing as bad as what we've seen in the show before. That's what I'm trying to say there. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to meeting this new character next week. Um, again, she looks she's going to be very, maybe not important, but like a very big deal. Again, she's got a similar type of uh, stylistic well, not star wise but a similar type of eyes as yayo -Yi, so i imagine she will be maybe quite important going forward but yeah looking forward to that uh some fun moments today uh, again nice to see kato actually take a spirit down himself as well actually put one in a uh in a door even though it was just a, a random one um doesn't take away too much from the accomplishment uh do let me know if you guys thought about this episode though down in the comment section make sure you leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back next week with episode eight so see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day guys